and God said, let there be light. But what does that have to do with 3D? So one of my brothers, Temur Ali, he made his own YouTube channel and he made a lighting breakdown video where he showed three different renders with three different lighting setups. Links in the description, go and subscribe to him as well. So he actually inspired me to make this tutorial over here just for you guys. And today we are actually going to be making this render over here. And without further ado, let's begin. By the way, this is going to be a follow along tutorial. So the files in the description, just download it and let's get started. Alrighty guys. So if you've downloaded the starter file, this is what it's going to be looking like. So with that out of the way, let's begin. So if we come over here, we could obviously see we have a HDRI going around, which we don't need for now. So we'll come over here towards the world and I'll just disconnect it, delete it and put the power to zero. And why did I do that? Because we're going to be lighting this up. So I'll just turn it off and now I'll go to 3D viewport, go over here to my camera, turn these off and this is going to be our preview window and we're going to be working over here. So first things first, I'll put my 3D cursor over here, go shift A, go to lights and I'll add in an area light. Now we're going to be going towards the classic three point lighting setup over here. So I'll just scale this light down a bit and we're going to be making the rim light first. So there are like two ways to do it. Either I could go like GZ rotation Y and just put it somewhere like that. That's like one way or the other way that I like to do is going control number pad zero and then shift tilde. So now I can take the light and place it wherever I want. So I'll just put it somewhere around this point and then go towards my camera. And if I come over here and towards the opacity, I'll turn it off so we cannot see it and just move it a bit downwards. So we don't get the harsh reflection over here. And now I'm going to be duplicating it and over our 3D cursor, what we're going to be doing is we'll choose the transformation pivot point towards the 3D cursor and I'll put that over here. And now shift D rotation Y. And I'll just put it over here and then rotation Z just to get this sort of a look bit closer and the second thing that we could do over here is if we come over here i'll just put the camera down a bit as we can see we have like white strips over here so how can we use them well if we go to our shader editor over here and we actually have another empty slot already made for us. So we'll just make a new material, delete the universal one and add in the fusion material. I'll connect this. And if we go into our emission, I'll just put in a texture emission node over here. I'll crank it up a bit. And for the color, I'll choose a bluish tone. And if we come back over here to our end panel, I'll turn on the compositing. Because this is going to be helping us out a lot. Because I'll just add in the bloom. And just decrease it a bit. Okay, so since we're done with this lining setup, what else we could do to give it an extra bump? So what we could do is add in a plane over here. Shift A. That's a cube. Shift A, add a plane. Our Y, 90. We'll go G, X. Take it way, 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 way back. And now what we are going to be doing is 
I'll have to split this over here. Go to our shader editor, new. So if you have ever used Cycles or EV or any sort of render engine, it's basically putting like an image on a plane. So that's what we are going to be doing. So I'll just add in a diffuse material over here. And I'll go to emission, texture emission. <laughs> Put the opacity to zero. Take our image. Plug it in. And our X 90. G X G Y and just reposition it a bit and obviously it looks a bit too bright for us so we'll have to slowly decrease the power to the point where we start to like it And I'll put this to black and add in some roughness. So yeah, ladies and gentlemen, and with that, we are done with this render. So let's render it out. And for the render settings that I'm going to be using is if I come over here to my octane panel, I'll click on the denoiser and I'll go to my passes, denoisers, beauty, and I'll go to compositor, use nodes, and we have our denoise beauty. I'll just connect it over here and I'll render it out. But before that, there's one thing that might bring an extra charm to our render. So if we come over here to our compositing, in a lot of my renders, what I like to do is add in a bit of chromatic aberration. So let's just add that. Yeah, that looks good. A bit more. Something like that. And yeah, let's render it out now. So yeah, ladies and gentlemen, we got our rendered file. Now let's take it into Photoshop. Alrighty guys, since now we're in Photoshop, what we're going to be doing is selecting our layer, right click and converting it into a smart object. Why did we do that? Just because of one reason. Because if we have to later down the line change any sort of settings, we could easily do it. So we'll go Control Shift A just to open up Lightroom for us. Let's open up Basics. Add some clarity. A bit of texture. And just a touch of dehaze. And I see the blacks are getting a bit too much. So let's bump up the blacks a bit a bit of exposure so we could properly see the product and i'll just add in a touch of vibrance over here and if we come down over here towards optics i'll add in the vignette i mean we're already getting tons of blacks so adding a vignette is optional over here and i'll add some grain Somewhat like that, 7 looks good. And details. Sharpening and a bit of noise reduction. Okay, that looks pretty good now. So, this was before, this is after. And now, what we could also do is try a LUT over here. Okay, that severely improved it. So yeah, ladies and gentlemen, we're done. So yeah, that's how we made this render over here. And I hope you guys learned something new. And I hope you followed along. If you did, well, just tag me on Instagram with your creations at Hustlemore Official. And with that out of the way, I'm going to be seeing you guys very soon. Because this is like one of the snippets that I showed you that you're going to be learning in the free course that I'm going to be releasing very, very soon. Until then, God bless you all and your family. See you around. Bye.